the website, make sure that you keep in mind this is an underscore, this is a regular dash, okay? So enter this, and then when you enter that and you hit return, you should be able to see this. Uh, this is the NASA Solar and Heliospheric Observatory, SOHO, that's usually, I think that's how it's called. And then what we're going to do is, we're going to try to get images of the solar disk for various date, and we're going to, you know, select two uh, options here. We're going to select the H uh, HMI continuum. This will give us a picture of the sun, uh, the sun's disk, just like we saw it through the telescopes when we did uh, our own one by the Astro Hut. And then we're going to also uh, select this one, which is in ultraviolet. Uh, so we're, if you hold the shift key, you'll be able to select both of these. And then after that, notice here how it gives you the format that you enter the date. And what we would like to do is, the end date should be, you know, uh, in this case, the 18th, because that was the last that, uh, you know, the uh, Astronomy 1 class did. The Astronomy 2 class did earlier. So I'm going to enter 2017. And that's what you enter too, by the way. Uh, 09, and then dash and then 18 that was you know the last date that the one of the astronomy classes did and then we're going to have the website give us the uh, data meaning the pictures of the sun disk from 2017 17 I just did because I want to have 31 days as opposed to just 30 days, okay? And then we're going to click on this and click on search. And you should be able to see something that you would recognize once we did that. So hit the search. And sure enough, do you remember seeing something like this? Oh, yeah. And then here is a cool corresponding one. This is the same image of the sun's disk except this is in ultraviolet light <coughs> while well, this invisible light then what you're going to be doing my friends is you're going to pick uh, a specific date and you're going to start plotting you know the sunspot that you saw each day so notice here how the dates are 2017 09 for september 19 okay and then you could see here zero 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 zero. Those are the day, uh, the hours, the minutes, and the seconds. It doesn't matter which one of these you pick, but be consistent. So you would skip a day backward each time. Okay. Now, how would you graph that? Well, you would have to uh, go to the uh, grid that I made available uh, in Google Classroom and part of your. Uh, and part of your uh, what you call a document uh, for this lab and I'm gonna show you how it looks like okay here we go so you see it looks like this and then you you if I were you I would print this out and then I would draw my little thingy here or you could do it electronically if you feel comfortable enough so for example I could illustrate this now I'm gonna go back here Notice here, roughly, it's about there. So I'm gonna try to use like my uh, my uh, you know my thumb and my index finger to estimate roughly where that is, and then I would go here, and then I would say, okay, it looks to me like it's about, and you have to make sure that you match both the height and the um, what shall I call it both the heights. So I'm going to put uh, a little uh, dark spot right there. Uh, by the way, you could do this by hand. I did it first by hand and I'm going to show you in class how it looks like. And then I'm going to select, you know, here because it's like it looks circleish a little bit, the spot. Well, that's definitely too big. So I'm going to make it small. I'm going to move it over here. And then I'm going to make it even smaller, so it would be as tiny as possible right there. 
and this is a little bit too big for my my taste there but you you get the gist and i'm using the arrows right and left to be able to so roughly this one here is like that and then what you should do right above it you should be able to write you know the date you know for that so i'm gonna let me see here here we go i want to enter a text box so i'm gonna enter the date which is in this case uh it's supposed to be uh what should i call it the 19th i know uh, i mean you could be very specific 2017 uh and then 19 uh what should i call it the month which is 09 uh and then the uh what should i call it the date which is 19 and now to help myself i put zero 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 because i selected that aspect to be the one that i'm going to be using so i'm going to take this one notice how it is too big here but when you do it by hand you're going to write it tiny above the you know the circle that you would have and then what you would do you go back here and then you scroll down notice here again this is 19 09 19 000, 000. so i'm going to go to the 18 000, 000. So I'm going to keep going, keep going, keep going. Not yet, not yet. Of course, there's nothing special about the 000. You could select whatever you want. The key thing is be consistent. So here we go, here we go. I'm looking, I'm looking. Oh, 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 I must have skipped it. Here we go. Let's go back. 18, 0, 1, 3, 18, 0, 0. Ta-da! And then at this point, I'll try to go back and try to the grid and I'll try to graph this and I keep doing this until I get pretty much all the way down to you know the previous one now keep in mind you see how I'm following it and that's what you should do and you do it for every day for the same time in minutes and seconds I'm gonna stop right here and then uh, we'll continue some other time thank you have a good day you are il cool. Uh, let me see if I can get this out of the way here.